We're going to start with the latest on New Hanover County Commissioners. They met with City Council, Wilmington City Council members today in a special joint meeting. Homelessness, poverty, and inequality among several issues they discussed. Peyton Furtado has the details. City and county officials gathered Wednesday, hoping to find answers and to form community partnerships. Their first item on the docket, homelessness in the Cape Fear. More than 20% of Wilmington's homeless population have been without a place to live for more than a year. And it's, it's just not going to be good enough to open the door and say, here's a bed uh, for the night. People need a place to sleep, but also resources to help them transition back into society. In the village, they, they're going to have services and provide uh, all kinds of support uh, opportunities. But they can't do it alone. Eden Village has the plan, the volunteers, and a tiny house already built. Now, they need the funding to help homeless men and women start new lives. It gives me hope. Um, we've had a few grants that we didn't get, and that was so disappointing. I really hope that the county and the city understand this is not just a few social workers or a few people that care about homelessness. We have over a thousand citizens, not a hundred, not two, a thousand citizens in Wilmington that have called and said, I want to be a part of this. Another topic in today's meeting, minority poverty levels. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, more than 22% of Wilmington's population lives in poverty, a statistic that the pandemic has made worse. But groups like Genesis Block are aiming to change that. They're looking at minority and women-owned businesses, and they're launching them, and they're making sure that before they get launched, they're really ready to go. Genesis Block has already partnered with the county, founder Gerard Newkirk says. But the city has also shown interest in using the group to reinvest in the community. So it's really exciting to see that our county and our city are getting behind promoting small business entrepreneurship uh, in the minority uh, sector especially. And so we look forward to it. Both the city and county came to the same conclusion at the end of the meeting. It's going to take more than the county and the city putting in $10,000 or $25,000 a year in, 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 in hoping that things will get better. To me, we've got to put our money where our mouth is and, and, and provide that type of housing somehow. In Wilmington, Peyton Furtado, WWAY News. Thank you, Peyton. Commissioners and the city council will meet again in the coming months with more details on potential partnerships.